and welcome to my Young Potters Pottery Tutorial. Today we will be making a chicken. We've got Easter coming up so it's quite a nice activity. See, use the pinch pot technique. It's a chicken sitting on a nest. Uh, what's fun about this is that you can it's hollow so it has space to put some little Easter eggs in for a gift or a lot of the kids like to make little eggs to put inside as well. Um, on the left, this chicken looks a lot brighter. This one is made using air dried clay and then painted just using acrylic paint. So if you don't have access to a kiln, you can use the same technique but with air dried clay that you can buy from any craft store. Uh, this one was made using Dala air drying clay. It's a South African brand, but um, if you're somewhere else in the world, I'm sure you can find some other air drying clay brand in your store. Okay, so we will need some clay. Um, tools that I use is just a little mini cocktail stick, paintbrush for painting, some water for adding pieces of clay and for painting and colour slip we'll be using for painting. We have to make two pinch pots. So I'm going to take a piece for the nest and a bigger piece for the chicken. And then I'm going to leave some clay left over for the extra bits. So you can see that the one ball is slightly bigger than the other. Okay, so we're going to start with the nest. So I'm going to roll it into a ball. You can just put the clay on the table and do rolling most circular motions to get your ball shape. Or you can put it in your hand. It's actually a bit more effective. Round and round. Get a nice ball shape. And then you're going to stick your thumb in. Oh, this clay is quite hard. And take your pointer finger and pinch around and rotate it in your hand. And here we have our first pinch pot. I'm going to make this quite a wide one, so I'll put it on the table and use the table to flatten it a little bit. I want it fairly wide. Okay. And it's a nest, which is, you know, a natural looking, well, it's, it's not going to be perfect, so you can see my pinch pot's not going to be perfect either. It's going to look like a nest. Now we must do the chicken body. So, roll another ball. But this pot is going to be a bit deeper in. Stick your thumb in, pinch around, around, around. Okay. So we're going to make this pot a bit more tall than the other one. Scary sounding dogs outside. And there is our second pot that's going to be the body for the chicken. So we've got, now we're just going to do, we have to give our chicken a head. So take a piece, roll it into a sausage. But I'd say the width of your finger is a good size for your chicken head. 
and we're going to join it to the top. Okay. I'm scoring the surface, which means I'm making it rough with the cocktail stick. This is so that, and we're going to add water. This is like a way of attaching clay to clay that it doesn't come off. Okay. Stop saying okay like that. So like. And I'm just smoothing the clay together, blending it with the stick, doing a rolling motion. So we've got our head. I'm going to roll a long thin sausage and use the sausage for the wings, for the tail, for the beak, for the crest for the, what do you call that thing that hangs? Well, whatever it's called, we're making it. Okay, so we've got a fairly thin sausage. Now we're going to make the beak, make it a little bit thinner. And we've got a sausage folded in half, that makes quite a good beak. And stick the beak on. So where you want it, you must roughen the surface. Crest, take the sausage, I think three, one, two, three, join it like a fan, and stick it on top. Okay, and little sausage holder, whatever that is. <laughs> Please, if you can remember the name, you are welcome to comment. Otherwise, I should Google. Hey. So, to give it some eyes, just going to take the sharp end of the society stick. And wings. So, I need to roll this a bit more even. One. Two, three. And the other side, one, two, three, OK. 
can obviously have more or less. As you can see, mine's broken, yeah, but it still looks alright. and the tail one, two, three this has a lot more than three however many you want but three looks cool three looks alright And there you have it. Oops. Our chicken. The nest. I've used the stick to make it rough looking, to make it look like a nest. Crisscrossing motions very randomly. And there you have it, a chicken sitting on a nest. Now we're just going to paint. The colours I'll be using is white, black, red and orange. I'm going to start with white. There we have our chicken. I've gone a bit overboard with the spotting, but that looks cool. Hmm. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.